So this is a Excel Skills Academy sort of overview of some core skills that folks need in research methods that's um, designed to um, bring us all up to speed with what we need for various different projects in this class. Um, if you haven't taken a look at this Excel skills um, sheet, we're going to be focusing on um, Excel 101 skills today, looking at particularly formatting of uh, worksheets so they look pretty and uh, give you sort of a nice visual appearance. Um, and these are, again, things that you get used very frequently. And if you're developing a survey or some sort of data entry form, this might be something that you want to um, to use. And I'll give you an example. This is a, a voucher that the University of North Dakota uses for student organization um, payment. And so if you are um, you know, seeking reimbursement, you're going to pull up this Excel document um, and enter in your information and print it out. And it prints out as a nice, neat form that you can walk over to student affairs and get processed. Um, but building this form in Excel means that you can do some useful sort of formulas built in, right? So I've got train travel reimbursement quantity three. If I was only reimbursing for one, um, I can do that. And it takes my quantity, multiplies by my unit price, and gives me the amount. And that all updates automatically. It also sums this column um, here. So I get 150 in the total. And it looks nice, right? I mean, there's different color coded things and borders and everything. And it makes it work pretty well. And so I want to um, highlight a couple different things that I think are, are useful to build a form like this. And they all basically uh, exist in the same dialog box, a dialog box that you can get to by hitting control one. Um, or I think function one if you're an app person. Um, and it's this one. It's the format cells dialog box um, where you can set your um, cell format. So whether you're working with numbers, phone numbers, zip codes, um, dates, it, you can set that here. Alignment, if you want things to be um, centered or you know left aligned, right aligned. Um, there's a font. Um, dialog box, so it's usually easier to use font on the ribbons. Um, border, this one is pretty handy. I can set the um, size of border that I want. I can choose a color that I want for that border. And I can choose if it, I want that border on the top of a cell or the bottom of a cell. I want it to outline a cell or if I want all of the cells to be sort of um, highlighted that way. Um, fill is really useful. If you choose no color, you get sort of those faded lines um, in Excel that um, help distinguish between you know, grids and, and uh, one cell from another. But if you have um, like this one with a lot of the columns squished together, um, that can look kind of messy. And so I'll take a section here, um, pull up my format cells option, choose no color and click out of there and it looks a little chaotic. And so one thing that you can do to make your forms look a little bit less um, visually messy is to simply replace that no color with a white color and it sort of makes it all disappear. Um, and then lastly, there's this protection piece that we'll talk about um, at, a, at a later date. Um, but this format cells dialog box is really where a lot of the formatting of cells gets done. Um, and again, you can get there with hitting control one, but you can also get there on your ribbon by clicking on these little like, give me a, a more um, developed sort of interface window um, arrows that are on your ribbon. So if you want the font, um, it'll bring up that same dialog box with the tab for font selected. If you choose alignment, it'll bring up the alignment um, tab selected. Number brings up your number formatting. Um, so you can get there a couple different ways. Um, but again, most of what you would want to do um, for a, a for building a form like this can be done through that dialog box. So this spot right here um, is just a regular old cell um, with a border. Um, there's a straight line border and the straight line border is applied to the bottom. Um, when I click it on and click it off so I can make it go away, but I'll keep it on. And when I click OK, you just have the border there. Um, and so that'll print out as just a straight line and it'll be underneath whatever you've written. Um, some of these are this little checkbox here is the exact same thing. Um, bring up my format cells dialog box, choose a slightly thicker line, um, and this time I'm going to choose to outline. Um, once I've done that, I can click OK, and it gives me my outlined box. Um, some of the um, color that comes across here on the, the sort of header row um, in this total box 
and then the sort of gray areas, all of that is done by going to fill and choosing the color that you want. Um, there's a little bit of a quirk here. Um, with this one, it's not just that we've sort of put a black background in, we've made the font white. So I can go up here and change my font and choose the color white. Or I can do that through the um, font format cells dialog box. I have the option to change the color here. Um, but then there's also this little like arrow thing. And if you've worked with Office before, you've probably seen that you can insert um, different shapes. And so you can do that as well in, um, in uh, Excel as well. I can insert an arrow and I can just draw it into here. I can rotate that around. Say, don't forget to fill this out. I can um, change the color on that with shape fill. I'll make that one black as well. I'll change the outline. I can do no outline or I can make it the same color. Um, and I can sort of resize it a little bit to make it match that other arrow a little bit closer, right? So again, you can just add different elements to your forms to try to highlight different things. Um, I wanna show a couple little things here. So you might note that um, these cells um, over here have dollar signs attached to them, um, but this one doesn't. And that's because I've chosen for this cell to go to this number box and choose not general, which is just whatever you type in the cell shows, or number, which allows you to choose decimal points or use thousand separators, but I've selected currency. And I've indicated that I want two decimal places, and I've indicated that I want the dollar sign um, for that. And there's other ways that you can add this as well. You can make it so that negative numbers appear in red, right? Which might be useful if you're in a business and you want to highlight like this sector is losing money versus the black is sectors that are gaining money. Um, the commas are sort of the default for that. Um, and so I've got dollar sign showing on all of these. If I wanted to give this one a dollar sign, actually, I will highlight all of these because I might use more than one row. Um, it's currently set up as number. It's showing two decimal places. If I shift it over to currency, tell it I want dollars, tell it I want two decimal places, click OK, and it adds that dollar sign in. Um, so again, these are just little things that you can do to control the display of, um, of what you see. One other little trick I might highlight um, is right here. And when I click on this cell, this whole big long line sort of fills in. But if you look across the top, that's actually spanning a lot of different columns. Um, and so this is something that people handle in different ways. And depending upon um, how much work you want to do in, in, in your form, you can handle in different ways. Um, if I simply start typing, this is a sentence that is long enough to spill across cells. Um, that will just fill up the space um, and it will just keep going until it hits the end. Um, well, it won't keep going until it hits, it'll just keep on going and it'll keep writing over the top of other cells. And if I put something next to it, this is a second sentence. What it does is it essentially buries that first cell underneath it. And so you can no longer see um, how far that goes, right? The information is still there. And if you go up to the top and see what's in the cell, um, you can still see all the information, but it's not displaying. And so one way to maybe make a display is I could fiddle with my columns and you know try and make it work that way. Um, another option is to, um, to wrap it. And so if I click up on, shorten my column a little bit, um, I'm gonna click on my control one to bring up my format cells dialog box. Um, and I'm gonna go to alignment. And there's a couple options for how I can show um, this, this content, right? So I can arrange it to be, you know, left or right or centered. Um, I can center it vertically or you know, top or bottom, but I can also ask it to wrap text rather than just keep going and spilling over across cells. I can tell Excel, I want that cell to be wrapped. Or I can say, just shrink it. Just give me a really small font, it'll be fine. Um, oh, no, that's not fine. That's way too small. I can't use that. Um, I better ask it to wrap it. 
And when I do that, it's going to create space for that, but it's going to do it by um, by making this line spread out. That may or may not be what I want. And so a third strategy that I could use is to say, okay, I don't expect my um, information I'm putting in to be more than this basic space. And that's what I want it to be. And if it ends up spilling over, well, that's going to be the odd case. Um, and I don't want somebody to be able to put information in that's going to, you know, lay over the top of that. And so I'm going to take that cluster of cells and merge them. And now they're going to function all as just one complete cell. And so when I click into that cell, and I can click into it on this side too, it just gives me one cell, but above it, there's multiple cells. There we go. There it is. Um, and so that's what's happening over on this side is that they said there's multiple columns here, but we want each of these to be treated as just a single cell. You're not going to be writing over the top of it or, or hiding any information. Um, and so we're going to merge them together to create sort of unconfusing things where everybody's entering in the same column. Um, and that can be kind of handy. Uh, but again, it's just another tool that you can use in trying to work with your data.